Hello everybody. So yesterday we landed in Yerevan in the afternoon. Then we took our airport transfers from our apartment and we got straight to it in about 20 minutes and uh, after we got to our apartment we freshened up a bit headed for lunch took a walk uh, down the northern avenue explored the streets of Yerevan a little bit and took a two hour free uh, walking tour and today's day two cheers hey good morning guys um, it's the second day of our trip in Yerevan and I was so exhausted last night. I'm so sorry. I did not cover anything about our dinner or anything. It was just so exhausting. We had woken up really early. Uh, I had an early flight. And so by the time it was 9, we were just dead. <laughs> so we just had a quick bite and we came uh, to our room and we went off to bed straight away. But I do want to share with you what we... Um, when, uh, what we experienced yesterday. So um, last I told you was we had a three hour uh, walking tour uh, with, um, with the Yerevan free walking tour guide. Uh, the guide's name is Bako. He's amazing. I'm going to tell you to do this. This is a must do. He is so knowledgeable. He has so much knowledge about the entire city. You must do. Uh, his walking tour for sure the first day. I mean you will see so much. It's amazing um, After that we went to the uh, Eden pub um, Which is uh, right below the casket stairs um, It's on the uh, Tumanyan Tamanyan Street. Sorry <laughs> Tamanyan Street um, And that's where we had a quick bite and then we uh, just straight away went to our room Hey, so I just want to share a couple of things that I learned about uh, Armenia in general and about Yerevan particularly yesterday. So um, everywhere we went and we saw these beautiful buildings and these arches, uh, they had these gorgeous ornaments carved into them. And uh, one of the things that was uh, um, that was common is uh, uh, the pomegranate everywhere. So we learned that the pomegranate is actually a symbol of unity uh, for Armenians. Um, Yerevan is nicknamed uh, as the city of sun. Apparently they have 308 days of sun uh, in their city. So they love their sun. Uh, even, in this, even in the winter, the sun is amazing. Um, the summer is obviously beautiful. It's not very hot. It's extremely pleasant. Another thing that I would like to actually uh, add is uh, everywhere we went there were these little uh, water fountains you will find them everywhere all over scattered in Yerevan they're all called uh, Pulbulak uh, they are actually um, uh, drinking water they pop up whenever you're thirsty honestly uh, they're everywhere so what I would suggest is that uh, if you have a bottle um, or you've had water, you bought water and then you have an empty bottle, uh, I would suggest uh, wherever you find these fountains, please fill them up there so you will also be saving some plastic and you will get water wherever you want all over Yerevan. I would like to tell you one thing though. There is an app that you should download. It's called uh, rate.am. Uh, that's the app you should download if you want to know what's the best rate you'll get for your euros or your USD and where based on your location they will tell you the closest place you will get um, a good rate for your currency so you should definitely download that app so um, I just got my currency exchanged uh, I know it's going to be different obviously uh, every day it fluctuates a little bit but just so you have an idea um, one euro was 535 Armenian drum for me so I got a few euros uh, exchange I didn't get everything exchanged because you don't need to do that you can exchange it on a daily basis you're not going to get charged any extra commission or any extra fee so uh, as the day goes you can exchange it if it's right next to your uh, apartment or hotel which it is in our case 
Hey, so we've just uh, come here to have a quick bite. By the time we got out of our um, room and uh, got everything exchanged, uh, it's almost uh, afternoon. So we're just thinking we'll have a quick brunch and then head out uh, for our sightseeing. So we've come to this uh, beautiful little Italian restaurant and um, I've come here last year when I was visiting Yerevan and the food is really great. So I'm really looking forward to some yummy food. So this is the Vernissage. Uh, it's a big uh, open air market. It's often uh, said that it's a flea market of Yerevan, but it's not. It's uh, it's a market where you can find Armenian jewelry, souvenirs, handicrafts, and many other items. The best time to visit it uh, is over the weekends, and make sure you bargain for the price. So after spending two hours in the Vernissage market, we decided to take a break and we've come to this beautiful wine bar called Voskiva's Wine Time. It's located at the Zakian Street where there are other wine bars as well. But we just decided to go to this one and we're going to have a quick bite and have some lovely wine. And that's my friend filming me by the way, <laughs> hiding behind the camera. Hey guys, so I'm here at the uh, Tavern Yerevan. Um, just a word of advice, if you are going to have Armenian uh, food uh, at Tavern Yerevan, please make sure you reserve in advance. No matter it's a weekday or a weekend, there is never space for dinner. So um, please book in advance. <laughs> 